Your parents will never stop being parents to you until you are, I'm, I'm already, I'm, I'm in my 30s, right? My parents still call me up and give me advice. My father sometimes here, I said something at a lecture, somebody comes and tells me, calls me up, why did you say that? You shouldn't have said that. Correct yourself. My mother, she calls me up, it's cold in Connecticut, are you wearing enough clothes? Is there this, is there that? I'm like, mom, I have four kids, I have to take care of them. She's a mother. She's a mother. Wallahi, it's in her nature. No matter how old I become, it doesn't matter. Parents are parents. And thank Allah Azza wa Jal that you have parents that are able to do this to you. Because there are many whose parents have gone on and they miss that love and tenderness. You're irritated by it. You're irritated by it. But there will come a time when you will miss it. Take advantage of it when it's there. So the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he was asked, what action is the best and what is the most excellent in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said prayer in its proper time. And after that, respect for your two parents. And after that, struggling in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And because the family has this value in Islam, still you find in the Muslim countries, the children respectful of their parents. The Prophet sallallahu said, he is not of us who has no softness, gentleness towards the youth and has no respect for our elders. This is the family of Islam. For the youth, first and foremost, for those of you who are still living at home, for those of you who still have to face what you consider the stifling experience of the, 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 the rules that your parents place upon you and all of these issues of, of clashing with them. I want to remind you, point number one, I want to remind you of a simple fact. It is a fact that has nothing to do with our religion. It is a fact that transcends culture and civilization. It is a human fact. And that fact is no one on earth will ever love you as much as your parents. And no one cares more about you than your parents. And whether you understand it or not, your parents have your best interest in mind when they tell you what they want you to do. Now I know this fact is somewhere back there, you know it. But wallahi, I know as a teenager, you didn't even want to think about it. You just want to sideline it. You know it deep down, you know it. But, and this is just words to you now. And mark my words and remember them. Until you are a parent, you will never understand what this means. Until you have a child of your own, until you hold this little baby in your arms, and as a mother or a father, you realize, oh my God, I'm in charge of this kid. I have to take care of this kid. And then those emotions start coming in. And then you begin to sacrifice your sleep and your time and your effort and your money. And the love for this child grows and grows and grows. Then it hits you. Then and only then. Right now it's only words. Then it will hit you. Oh my God, my parents must have been through the same thing that I'm going through now. And you know what you're going to feel? I felt this and I know all of you that are going to have kids and have, have kids feel this. You will feel an immense sense of guilt. Guilt. When you have your child and you start to sacrifice for that child, then and only then will you realize, what did I do? How could I have treated my parents like that? What if this kid does the same to me? Because the kid will do the same to you eventually.